Hey, how you all doing? I'm Julian Gooding and I'm out at the Wando, Mount Pleasant Library. And I'm working in adult services now, but many years ago, when I started working for the libraries, I used to work out at Johns Island Regional Library as a children's librarian. So I decided to pull out my percussion instruments and share some stories with you that I've learned over the many, many years. And today, I have with me my tongue drum. So I'll be using this drum to tell you a wonderful story. So I like to do my storytelling in the style of what's called a griot style of storytelling. It's a West African style of story storytelling that is uh, oftentimes you use a instrument. You may sing, you may dance, um, you tell all kinds of stories, not just for entertainment, but you tell stories that help you to learn. And oftentimes there's a wonderful moral within griot forms of storytelling. So this is one of my favorite stories. Now, many, many, many years ago, I was hiking in the forest. And while sitting in the forest and taking in the beautiful flowers and fauna, in the cool breeze, suddenly, out of the bushes, hopped a little rabbit. The rabbit came right up to me, and the rabbit spoke to me. And I was shocked. It's like, rabbits don't speak. And the rabbit said, would you like to hear a story, young man? And of course, you have an opportunity to sit and talk with a rabbit, you're going to listen. So the rabbit began telling me a story. He said that many, 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 many years ago, he was once a very old rabbit. Now, I know I don't look old right now, that I look very young, and my fur is very fluffy and brown, but many, many, many years ago, I was very, very old. And at that time, all of the people in the village that I lived near were starving. They didn't have any food. You see, there was a great drought and the sun had dried up everything. All the water had evaporated. The grasses started to dry up and the animals began to migrate further and further away that the people there didn't have anything to eat. And so the rabbit said that I've lived a very, very good long life and I want to do something good for all of the people here in this village. And the rabbit said, the first person who comes up to me that's hungry, I'm going to let them have me for dinner. <gasps> Can you believe that? Now, while rabbit was saying that, high up in the heavens, God was listening. And God was surprised that rabbit actually said, he's going to let somebody have him for dinner. He's going to sacrifice himself. God couldn't believe that Rabbit was telling the truth, so God transformed himself into an old man. And the old man came down to earth, and he came up to Rabbit, and he said, Rabbit, do you have anything for me to eat? And Rabbit said, Today, old man, is your lucky day. I'm going to let you have me for dinner. And the Rabbit began to dance. And the old man, who was really God, said, Well, Rabbit, that's a very good offer you're making me, but I can't bring any harm to you. And the rabbit said, Don't worry, old man. I will build a fire that's big and hot, and I will hop right into that fire, and when I'm all roasted, you can have me for dinner. And Rabbit began to dance. Now, the old man, who was really God, as we know, sat back and he watched Rabbit. And Rabbit collected twigs and sticks and things, and he piled it all up, and he found rocks that had flint within those rocks, and he slapped those rocks together really, really fast, and those rocks created a spark. And those sparks went into all of that kindling and all of that wood, and eventually there was a big, roaring fire. And Rabbit looked at the old man and said, Are you ready? And the old man who was really God, 
couldn't believe that Rabbit was actually going to do it. And Rabbit backed up, and in three hops, Rabbit jumped right into the flames. Now God, who was really the old man, was shocked that Rabbit actually kept his promise. He sacrificed himself for someone else. And so the old man, who was really God, reached into the fire and pulled the rabbit right out. Now the old rabbit was no longer old. The rabbit was now young. The rabbit's fur was fluffy and brown. And the rabbit felt healthy. It was like he was reborn. And the old man, who was really God, said to the rabbit, I can't believe you actually did that. And the rabbit said, how is this possible? How am I not roasted, and why am I not in your belly? And the old man said, I am God. I was listening to you from the heavens, and I couldn't believe you were actually going to sacrifice yourself. So I came down here in the guise of an old man to test and see if you were telling the truth. And you were telling the truth. Rabbit, that is a beautiful thing that you just did. You know what, Rabbit? God said, I'm going to let you have anything that you want. What would you like, Rabbit, as a thank you for doing good things? And, you know, Rabbit thought about it for a little bit. And Rabbit said, I would like to know what heaven is like. And I would also like to know what that other place is like. Uh -huh. And poof, just like that. Rabbit was now in a very large room, no longer on earth. The room was so big that there was a table that stretched all the way as far as the eye could see that way and all the way as far as the eye could see that way. And the table was filled with all kinds of foods. Every kind of food that you can imagine out there was on that table. And Rabbit noticed that there were people sitting behind all of that wonderful food, but they weren't happy. Everybody was crying and sad and angry. You see, at this table, they couldn't eat because they had to eat with six-foot forks. These forks were so long that if you held it by the handle and tried to put the food in your mouth, you couldn't get the food in your mouth because the food was too far away. And if you tried to pick the food up with your hands, the food would disappear. And you could only eat the food by holding the handle of the six-foot fork. And everybody was crying because they were starving and they were hungry. Poof! Just like that. The rabbit was taken to another room. And in this room, it was exactly the same as the first room. This room had a table that ran that way as far as the eye could see, and ran that way as far as the eye can see, and yep, every kind of food you're thinking about out there was on that table for everybody to enjoy. But this time, the people sitting behind the table, they weren't sad. They were happy, they were cheerful, they were feeding and dining and having a great time, and they still had six foot forks. And if they tried to pick the food up with their hand, it would disappear. And they had to hold the fork by the handle, just like in the first place. But why were they so happy? Rabbit noticed that they weren't trying to put the food in their mouths. They were putting the food in each other's mouths. See, if my fork is six foot long and you're over there, I can feed you and you can feed me. We can take care of each other. And poof, just like that, Rabbit was brought back to earth. And God said, now do you understand the difference between heaven and that other place? And Rabbit said, I do. We need to take care of each other. And that's what God said to Rabbit. See, that is why I am so proud of you, Rabbit. You were willing to make a sacrifice to help others. So, Rabbit, I want you to tell this story. Whenever you meet someone, sit down beside them and I'll give you the gift of speaking. And you'll stay forever young so you can share this story 
over and over and over again so that people will learn the importance of caring for one another. No matter what you believe, there's nothing wrong with caring and sharing and being loving to one another. I'm Julian Gooding, and that was my story. And I hope to be back soon with another instrument like my tin tongue drum, tongue drum. That's a tough one, right? Tin tongue tongue drum. And maybe I'll bring my talking drum and I'll share a wonderful story with you guys. So see you next time. Mm -hmm.